what does it mean to take desires as God? It does not mean that someone declares explicitly that I'm going to be a worshiper of my desires. Even if you ask a disbeliever, he will not admit to this form of worship. So we can consider the meaning of taking as God to be obedience rather than worship. When someone follows whatever pleases him without the concern whether Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared it lawful or unlawful, then he is simply obeying his desires as if those desires are his gods. Narrated by Shaddad bin Aus in Tirmidhi, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Kayyisu man dana nafsahu wa amila lima ba'd al-mawti wal-ajiz wal-ajizu man ittaba'a nafsahu hawaha wa tamanna ala Allah. The wise man is one who holds himself accountable and perform good deeds for what is after death. The foolish man is one who follows his desires and merely hopes in Allah. What could be some examples of this behavior of following one's desires in our society today? If you think about business and commerce, it could be about evading taxes. It could be about uh, earning money without following the laws of the jurisdiction where you are running your business. In terms of employment, it could be working in restricted industries like alcohol and gambling, which are prohibited to work in, in Islam. When it comes to eating, you have to think about halal or haram and losing that sense and eating whatever um, your palate desire is a form of following your desires or making desire your God. Relationships are the same, which is you have to keep modesty and chastity in, um, in talking to the opposite gender and not to get engaged in extramarital affairs because then you're simply following your carnal desires. Fashion is the same, donning clothing that shows aura or applying you know, uh, lotions, makeups with impermissible ingredients, again, for your desire to look good is another example. So there could be many, many such examples. We have to keep looking for when we are considering the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are mindful of distinguishing between halal and haram instead of simply doing things the way we want them for our own pleasure. Narrated by Abu Huraira Zat Allah and Hun Bukhari, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Ta'isa Abdu Dinari wa Dirhami wa Al Qatifati wa Al Khamisati in Uqtiya Radiya wa Ilam Yuqta Lam Yarda." Wretched is the slave of gold, silver, fine clothes, and garments. If he is given, he is pleased; but if he is not given, he is displeased. Meaning, his only criteria of relationship to with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is that he gets what he wants for his own purpose, for his own pleasure, that his desires are fulfilled. And if that's going on, then he may uh, consider worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if he is not given what his, um, what his nafs is asking for, then you know, he's displeased with, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the correct understanding of our purpose, of knowing our Lord, and to comply to his commands and not become people of Hawa who follow nothing but their whims and desires. I mean.